guys so welcome to my legal section uh this is the check if it's a good array okay so okay so let me uh, let me explain basically uh somebody give you a array your array is said to be good if you can obtain a sum from array by any possible subset and multiple units uh maybe uh, it's hard to understand what it means uh it means that uh one is the linear combination it's the integer linear combination of your element in array element in array okay so for example uh 12 5 7 23 which is true because if you take the 5 and the what you take 5 and 7 then you can times you can write 5 times 3 plus 7 plus uh times minus 2 equals to 1 and or and uh, this is or you can plus 12 times 0 and uh, plus 23 times 0 and for this one uh, you need to use all three of them but basically uh, it's the integer linear combination so that means this is integer this is integer this is integer and the three six is definitely false because any in any linear combination of three six is always multiple by three okay so this is the basically the general uh general uh euclidean algorithms okay so let me let me tell you the let me teach you some uh, basic math uh once you know this theorem then uh, you can solve it very quickly okay so let me explain uh, why is euclidean uh I, I guess everybody knows about euclidean algorithms basically somebody gives you two numbers then uh, you can calculate it's uh it's uh, a greatest common divisor okay uh but what we don't care is what we care is this the uh this theorem let me try to find the theorem for you guys uh where is the theorem probably not it's not this page uh let me see uh let me see i should type a theorem and variable yeah okay yeah extended euclidean algorithm okay so okay so basically all you need to know is that uh hmm all you need to know is the ax uh if somebody give you uh a and b and uh, you can find x y which is equal to x plus b y equals to g c d a b and then what we need to do is if we have only two variables then we 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 have the answer we have the answer the answer is if g c d is one then we we know it's it uh, we know we can find an answer okay uh so probably this is hard to understand so let me let me uh, use a pen use a pen to prove the, to tell you the, the detail tell you the detail okay so okay so let me uh, let me tell you uh, what's going on what's going on <sighs> mm hmm okay so let me tell you what's going on okay uh so basically somebody give you array a1 a2 up to an and then we want to ask ask there is a b1 b2 bn basically all the integer such as the sigma a i b i is equals to one right this is our problem our problem okay Good. okay so the theorem the euclidean theorem is that the uh, euclidean theorem in two variable in two variables uh tell you that uh, if there is uh if some if a b uh if the g c d a b is zero is one then you exist x and y is an integer such that a x plus b y equals to one okay so so that means in two variable what we need to know is that the g c d a b is uh, whether g c d a b is equal to one and uh, actually this can be uh, this can be generalized as uh, as a as a many ran, uh, any uh, unvariable unvariable okay so what so what a, what a, uh, the key point is that uh, is this theorem someone give an array and ask where, where this is basically ask is gcd a1 a2 an is one okay so this is the theorem so basically if you 
if you can prove the two variable, then you can prove the three variable and n variable. Okay. So the key point is that what we need to know is just compute this graded comma divisor. And then there's this theorem also uh, I will not prove here. Uh, basically, if you have n GCD, you can calculate the GCD by the first two and then calculate A3, A4, and up to AN. GCD. So that means you can compute the first two GCD and then compute uh, the GCD for the three and compute the four and then compute up to N. Okay. okay. So that's our 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 results. Okay, so uh, you you uh, you can go to Google and find this small algorithm. Basically, this is just compute GCD. Somebody give you two numbers. Okay, so the first one is somebody give you uh, uh if the length of numbers is only one, then then there's only one chance. If the number is zero, then return true else false. Then otherwise, you first compute the uh the first two number as your GCD, and then you keep using this this formula. This formula basically is, is this formula. You calculate three GCD, you calculate the first two, and then you couple with the third, and you keep doing. So this is the first one. X is compute GCD, X numbers, and you keep doing. And then if X is one, then you return true, else you return false. Okay, so this is basically the mathematical question. Then we can solve it very quickly. Right, very quickly. Less than 100%. <laughs> okay. But basically, we, we, we only use the O1 space and then use the extensive Euclidean algorithms. Okay, so it's very fast, very uh, powerful, very, very mathematics. Okay, but actually I fail a lot of time. Yeah, but very fast, very fast. Nice, I will see you guys in the uh, next video. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel.